So to get started on the upgrade, core upgrade for Unraid, first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to log into uh, my Unraid server. So for me, it's TitanFS dashboard. I'm going to come here to main, and I am going to make note of all my drive assignments here, just to be on the safe side. Now these are all uh, Hitachi Death Stars, uh, NAS drives. So what I really need to pay attention to is here, but the nice thing is I can just double click here, go into here and bang and call up this one. Parody. And of course do the same for the other ones. One. All right, and I only have one cache drive right now. And after we do the core upgrade, I'm going to be upgrading this from the 128 gig SSD that it is to a 480 gig SSD. So for right now, kind of need to make sure it's there, but it won't be necessarily the same afterwards. Unassigned devices. We're going to turn off auto mount on these. <clears throat> just to be on the safe side. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my VMs here and turn off auto start on any VMs I have. Same with my dockers. Turn off all auto starts. Now, from what I've read, this isn't necessary, but I like to err on the side of caution, just in case. The other thing I'm going to do is go into settings, disk settings, and turn off the auto start here. That way the array does not start automatically. Again, this is just more of a precaution than anything else, because when it boots up with the new core system, I want to make sure that all my devices are set to the same thing so this is what I'm going to be confirming this that uh, the one with the serial number D39ZT is parity this one is this one so forth and so on alright and now that we have that done I can shut it down so we'll go back to main array operation and we're going to power down the server and we will continue from there we'll get the core upgraded and come right back into it Okay, now that we have the core system replaced, took the precaution of actually unplugging my USB devices as well, just to be on the safe side. Go to main here, make sure all of our configurations are right. 
39 ZT's parity. Yep. Looks like all our discs match up to what they should be. It's cash. Alright, now we can start the array. And our array has started. Let's go to disk settings. Check that to yes again. I've already done that. And now we can go to our dockers and turn these back on. I don't need that one. Let's start. I'll start. Flex going. Cash and top to me. And as you can see from this message here, this is why I need to upgrade my cache disk. 128 gig is really not enough for what I was doing, but it's what I had at the time. Alright, and we'll go to our VMs. Now before we start up our VM, what I am going to do is make sure that... Yeah, see, that's what I thought. Make sure the assignments are what I want them to be. So, we would have it do... And five. Hmm. Yep, and everything else will leave the same. Update and start. That'll take a moment. Alright. And I just realized something. We need to shut this down. One thing I forgot. Alright, cool. Alright, so thankfully... Some of the settings transferred over. I had two NICs in the other one. I don't really need it in this one. Uh, all my dockers were set that needed specific IP addresses were already set to BR0 <coughs> on Ethernet 0. I had originally had my VM on a separate NIC. And why are we not... Alright, we're going to force stop this. There we go. We need to make sure that this is on proper nick. Yeah, see that one says BR1. We need it on BR0. There we go, and that'll fix that. Alright guys, uh, thanks for watching the video. Uh, sorry about this little outro here. Uh, my office has gotten to be a bit of a mess, and uh, part of what I'm doing is cleaning it up. So uh, I can get to that uh, as soon as I'm done with this. So uh, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, uh, check out the links in the video description. I'll have some of the parts that I've used in the current upgrade for the Unraid build. Uh, that's going to be an ongoing, evolving server. So uh, maybe I'll do another one of these uh, later on. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.